Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth tutorial in our eBay API series. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding a filtering system on top of our emails so that we don't send the same email multiple times if the same item keeps showing up every time we make a search. So this is going to be pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the item ID because those are specific to each item so that's our way of making sure we don't alert for the same item twice so what I'm doing here is like we've done in the past where I grab the attribute item ID out of the JSON that we request and I'm gonna do um, index 0 so that it pulls it out of the um, out of the brackets item ID not item die and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start logging the um, the item IDs so what we have to do is we have to make some file hang on let me go to the right directory and then what you can see here is I did right click new text document like we did with the last one and I made a file a text file named item ID and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write to this file with the intent to append so I'm gonna say with open item ID dot txt comma with the intent to append as item file and then we are going to write to it and we're gonna write the item ID plus backslash n to put it on a new line each item is gonna be on a new line so what we've done here is we grab the item ID and then we're going to write it to our item ID dot txt as item file and if we look at this file I've already run this a couple times if we look at that you can see that it's just a big long not a Python list but it is a list of the item IDs so what it's going to do is when we run it it's gonna write a bunch of item IDs to it so if you looked at the previous um, frame you saw about 20 so I'm gonna run it and I'll give it a little bit and we'll check on it again and I'll show you that it's added in a bunch of new item IDs I think that should be enough so I'll cancel it if we look at the item IDs now you can see that it's added at least like 10 15 item IDs and so what we have to do now is we will make we will open up that file every time we run the script and we'll do it at the same time we open this other file I'm just gonna copy copy this for now and then I'm gonna make some slight modifications just to fill in the changes and so we did item ID dot txt we'll do it as item file item IDs item file and then for this one what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna read it and then we're gonna split it on the lines because that's gonna get rid of the backslash n it's just gonna make it a big long list that we can access so I'm going to print item ID so you guys can see what the content looks like now that we've read it in this way so I will run and you can see that it's now it is a Python list which has all of the different item IDs in it and so now we have the task of actually filtering stuff out 
So what we'll do is we say if item ID in item IDs. So basically what we're doing is we we grab the item ID for this specific item and we check in our list of previously alerted item IDs and we say if that's true then we're just gonna print item already alerted but if that is not the case so else then we're gonna open this file and add in that item ID so we never get notified of it again and then we're going to send an email and let's just get rid of that print statement we don't need it anymore and so we can run it and you can see hang on we've got an error somewhere what does the error say permission denied interesting so let's just take a second to look it all over this should be fine reading let's look around I'm gonna first thing is I'll point out we did get it to block a bunch of them so every time it put item alerted it had already filtered those out so that's a good sign I'm gonna run this again and see what happens because that should not be happening seems like it's going okay I'm gonna run it for a second and let's see if it works seems like it's working just fine so we'll just chalk that error up to a fluke but I will cancel the build I'll show you the emails it's been sending all of these this looks like a lot of duplicates let's try running this again and see if the item already alerted group is larger this is definitely larger let's check the emails again I think these are all separate items. I think someone just spammed eBay and that's why all of these look familiar. So I think we will just chalk that one up to a fluke, but it looks like this is all running correctly. It's going to filter out as you go. It's going to filter out more and more. So right now it's kind of spammy because it's going to send you for each new item. But in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to do some additional filtering. So right now we just have the basic keyword we're passing in, but I'm going to be showing how you can put in negative keywords. So the example they show in the documentation is if you're looking for a baseball, but you don't want an autographed one because those are just too expensive or something, you can do baseball and then you put minus autographed and then it will exclude any listings that have the word autographed in it. So I'll show how to do that and then I will also be showing you how to run this continuously. So right now every time you run it, it only runs through once and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting it up on a Raspberry Pi or AWS or your own system right here and I'll show how you can make it run every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes or whatever you want to do. But other than that, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching.